It's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's read the story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek the story time. Story, story, story time. You and me, it's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's achieve. Hello, everyone. Welcome to story time with me, Kayla. How are you all doing on this beautiful Wednesday? I hope you're doing well. And of course, as always, please making sure to please still stay safe. <laughs> Now today we have another special Arthur feature. Today we will take a look at a book from returning Arthur, Rita Reed. She has created an entire book series called The Dogfish Tales, which gives us so many valuable life lessons. And we had the honor of reading one of her first books and now we're back today with her latest. And so without further ado, the book we'll be reading tonight is called Brrr, dun, da, da, da. Dogfish Just Be You, written by Rita Reed. You ready to see what this book is all about? Ready, set, let's begin. Dogfish Just Be You, written by Rita Reed and illustrated by Craig Cartwright. Here we go. I am so excited to read this one to you all because the message in here, I absolutely stand for it. <laughs> to all the children, everyone is special in their own way and you are perfect just the way you are. And her son Aaron wrote the following words of love and encouragement to his sister upon her college graduation. Never doubt yourself and keep moving forward. You have so much to offer the world, Aaron G. And also this story time is dedicated to him. All right, y'all ready to jump straight to it? Let's begin. A blooming band of whales sang as dogfish jumped out of bed with dreams of the northern lights still floating through his head. His ears wiggled and twitched as he happily traveled along, following the humpback whales as they sang their whaley songs. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of whaley songs do you think whales make? Do you think it's probably like a whistle or something kind of heavy and low? The pod gleefully welcomed him and extended an invitation. Dogfish, will you join us on our northern migration? Dogfish happily accepted and politely requested. Will we see the Aurora Borealis? Since I was a pup, it's been a dream of mine to see the colorful lights dancing in the sky. The humpbacks winked and said, Possibly. Ooh. You know, if you have time after this story time, look up the Aurora Borealis because it's a pretty cool uh, thing in nature that I definitely want you all to learn about. <laughs> Happy and carefree, the whales breached, twisting and leaping out of the sea, landing with a crash and a huge splash. Dogfish was amazed that they were so graceful with their enormous size and gigantic tails. Oh my goodness. Ha Do you know how big a whale is? I think they might even be bigger than elephants. So imagine an elephant jumping in, a, in the big ocean or the big lake and how much of a splash they would make. But you know what? Whales, they do it so gracefully. Dogfish wished he was a humpback whale. A little voice inside his head swirled. Never doubt yourself and keep moving forward. You have so much to offer the world. That is very true. Don't compare yourself. You have something else to offer. Then out of the dark, flashes of black and white dashed in circle, giving them all a fright. The orcas played ball as they all headed north tossing it effortlessly back and forth. Dogfish was astonished at how they threw the ball. They were so athletic. He didn't play sports at all. Hmm, but that's okay. Dogfish wished he was an orca. Again, the voice inside his head swirled. Never doubt yourself and keep moving forward. 
You have so much to offer the world. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't compare himself. They swam past Alaska and the Bering Sea. The waters were cold and very icy. As they entered the Arctic, they heard lovely sounds. A band of belugas with heads big and round. Their singing was exquisite. Such a beautiful sound. Dogfish couldn't sing. He just barked and howled. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I know exactly how uh, dogfish is feeling. Especially when someone can sing. And I know I can't. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Dogfish wished he was a beluga. Reminding himself again. Never doubt yourself and keep moving forward. You have so much to offer the world. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to keep saying that and believe it when you say it too. Smiley silly narwhals swam into sight. Happy and hilarious, they played with delight. Dogfish admired their shiny ivory horns. Mystical and magical, the ocean's unicorns. Ooh, so narwhals, they have... Uh, ivory horns just like that and yeah they do look like unicorns huh dogfish wished he was a narwhal whaley songs grew louder in the icy cold sea the crowd swam faster picking up their speed hmm look at everyone heading north dogfish was tired and feeling a little blue Thinking of all the things that he just couldn't do. I can try to be like a humpback or the unicorns of the sea. I could be like a beluga, but why? I am the best me I can be. Yeah, I like that. Suddenly, his big fluffy ears wiggled and rotated. With his supersonic hearing, distress signals were located. <laughs> I want my mama! Dogfish rushed to the commotion. Baby polar bear was alone in the ocean. I was playing when the ice broke. Now I'm floating out to sea. Help me, please! Oh. Then, without any doubt, Dogfish kept moving forward. He pushed that huge iceberg all the way back to shore. Oh. oh my goodness. Do you think the narwhal or the beluga or the whales was able to do that? Able to hear? Hear that baby polar bear cry? I don't know. A dream came true for that pup as he looked up. Oh, he's back with his mommy. Shining bright, dancing in the sky. Glowing and glistening, the northern lights. Oh, they made it. And look how happy everyone is. And you know, Dogfish was able to do something that none of them were able to do. He had those supersonic ears to be able to hear the baby polar bears uh, cries out. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even sure if they were strong enough to push that iceberg back to to so the baby could get back to his mom either mm -hmm. now i want to flip to the next page but it has an important message and i don't think i should read it i think dogfish himself should read it to us you think so here we go oh 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 ah let's see look dogfish himself came to pay us a visit Never doubt yourself and keep moving forward. You have so much to offer the world. Ooh, yes, absolutely. He is so right. Thank you, Mr. Dogfish, so much for joining us and for teaching us a very important message. We just got to keep moving forward. And take a look. Here's a map of where Dogfish started. And he traveled all the way past the Barren Sea, past the Arctic Ocean. You did a lot of traveling, huh? <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> and here's a little bit about the Arthur and more about the illustrator. And also where you can find more of the Dogfish Tales series. The end. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, K Crew, wasn't that such a fun story? I hope you enjoyed reading this book as much as I did. To find your copy, 
Make sure to head on over to her website and you can also find these books on Amazon and of course be sure to follow on social media. A big thank you to Rita Reed for another great book and for my personal own little dogfish. <laughs> a big shout out to all your friends and family and K Crew. I want to thank you as well for joining me, but it's time to sing goodbye. You ready? Here we go. I know. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. My friends, goodbye to you. I hope to see you again. We'll soon be proud of all your work tonight. Now climb in a bit and see for a side. On the count of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three, goodnight.